have four victims rescued. We've got a raging fire over here which Red now needs to do something about. I'm going to use one action to come down here and then two actions to extinguish this fire. I'm going to save my final action, I think. I'm not going to move in here with my final action just yet because of potential explosions. Let's roll for smoke. That's a two and a one. That's bad news because that's here. This is going to flash over because it's next to fire which is going to cause us to lose this point of interest. It was a victim. We've lost a victim. Our victim goes in the lost space here. Oh, I'm genuinely sad. We've lost our first victim in this house fire. Okay. We now need to have a roll for a new point of interest. Three, eight. So I'm going to place this three, eight here in the games room. Right, Yellow's turn. She gets four actions with two left over from last turn. And what we're going to do is use two actions to come across here. Two actions to extinguish this fire. And then two actions to move with our victim outside. Yeah, we've rescued our fifth victim. Great stuff. Five victims rescued. Two victims needed to claim victory in the game. Right, let's roll for smoke. That's a three and a three. Three, three is here. That's fine. That doesn't do anything. Okay, now we roll for a new point of interest because we've only got two on the board. That's a one and a four, which is just here. So with my five actions, I have one left over from last turn. I'll move here. I'm going to spend two actions to extinguish this flame. I'm going to use one action to move in here. And let's have a look at this. Yes! We found another victim. I'm right by the Oh, in the wall we can run out. So I'm going to save my fifth action for next turn. Now let's roll for smoke. Five and one. Five one is here. So this is an explosion. So we get two more North we get a damage to the wall, west we get a damage to the wall, south we have a shock wave which is going to blast a hole in the wall and this way we have an open space now full of fire and our supply of Damage tokens is down to two, four, six, eight, nine. The building is crumbling. Right, yellow's turn. 
I've got four actions. I'm going to run up here. One, two, three, four. And see what's under here. It's a false alarm. So that doesn't help us. Okay, I've got a bad feeling now. Let's roll for smoke. Four, two, which is just here. So we have another explosion. So four, two, I'll remind us it's there. So north, we have a shockwave, which is going to put fire here. East, we have a wall, so that's going to put a damage token here. South, we have a wall, which is going to put a damage token here. And west, we have an open space, so that's going to put a fire token here. This living room space is starting to cause us troubles. We've got five victims saved, we need two more. And we've got seven damage tokens left. Let's roll for a new point of interest because we've only got two on the board now. Oops. That's a one and a five. Up here in the bathroom, next to the red player. Right, red player has one action from last turn, so that leaves me with five. So, I'm going to use two actions to carry this guy outside. Which means I now have six rescued victims. I just need one more. With my next action, I'm going to run back in here. Fourth action, run over here, jump in the shower. We have a victim. This looks very good. I think this is pretty much game over now, right? Unless we have something bad happening off near where we are. So let's stay out of trouble. I've got one more action left, I'm going to leave it. So I need to roll for smoke. That's three, seven. Three, seven is here. So we've got smoke on smoke, which turns it to fire. We have two points of interest on the board, so we need to roll to place another one. We have one seven, which is just up here in the bedroom. Okay, I don't want anything really bad happening now while I'm so close to victory. So, what should I do? I don't want to bash walls because that's going to use more tokens, isn't it? Okay, let's just run over here. I'll run across here. I'll put out this smoke. And I'll save two actions and let's see what happens next. Roll for smoke. Six, three, which is here, which is fortunately not adjacent to anything. Let's plow straight on with the red player's turn. It's got four actions and one left over from last Turn. With our five actions, we can take two to move here, 
and two to move outside and rescue our seventh victim. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's it, we've, we've reached victory condition. And we've rescued seven victims. Well, that was pretty good. I've got a, a good handle on the rules now. My first impressions are I felt it was kind of, you know, not terribly difficult. We got there, I think we've got um, two, four, six, seven. We've got seven damage tokens left. So we were kind of, you know, it, it could have got a bit hairy there, but we, we lost... We lost two points of interest. One was a victim, one was a forced alarm, so that was kind of lucky. And there are only two left over here. But it didn't seem incredibly, I don't know, maybe I was difficult, maybe I was lucky. Um, there were a few explosions, some shockwaves sh shuddering through, there was quite a lot going on. Um, but I think maybe I was a bit lucky with the position of some of the points of interest. So I'm very keen now to play a game with the advanced rules and, and seeing what else it has to offer. So thanks guys, see you next time.